barbecue no pork belly bite, which just doesn't sound nice. So, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new, hey, what's good? <laughs> Why was that kind of creepy? So, in today's video, I'm going to do something different. I'm actually going to do something different today. So, today marks the first Christmas video. Well, Christmas, well, no, yeah, Christmas video. It is literally less than a week till December now, so I thought probably should get a move on and start doing some Christmas themed videos because it's really not very Christmassy today. Today? This year, obviously, because we're currently in middle of a pandemic so i thought i would start a series i thought it would be fun to go around all of the different supermarkets and try their new christmas vegan ranges so hi if you're new i'm vegan what's good loads and loads and loads of different shops are bringing out different vegan ranges and the stuff that they have this year is crazy in comparison to all previous years i think like veganism this year is like really stepped up and the supermarkets have really stepped up so in today's video i'm starting with sainsbury's <laughs> So I went to Sainsbury's yesterday and I got the best I possibly could in terms of their vegan Christmas ranges. There was a few things that I, I, that I couldn't find. But let's just crack on. I'm excited. I'm excited. So we're going to make like a roast dinner. We're going to look at the party food. We're going to look at the snacks. Like, I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> Firstly, obviously, at a Christmas dinner, you've got a little bit of a party going prior. I mean, obviously, this is just going to have to boycott this year. But we're going party food. And so, Sainsbury's have brought out this range called Plant Pioneers. I think they've had it for like a year or two now, to be fair. But this year, they've got some vegan party food. And they're both really weird. They're really weird. Nothing I would particularly gravitate towards if I was buying them like non-vegan, you know. But I bought them because they were vegan and I was like, that's really weird. So, this is the No Fish and Chips. And it's literally like, oh, you're going to have to ignore my nails the whole of this video, please. <laughs> um, it's literally like effectively a fish, a fish, mushy peas, and then a chip on top. And I've never seen that in a non vegan version, so I don't know what they're doing there. And then, second thing I've got is this barbecue no pork belly bite, which just doesn't sound nice. But where would you ever get better anyway? They both look very peculiar. I think these are the only party food, well this is the only two party food things I could find and I'm pretty sure this is the only two like party food type things that you can get. Oh, I t that's such a lie. You can get like spring rolls and stuff, which I could have got, but yeah, everyone like knows what spring roll tastes like. But these are crazy. Right, so we're gonna cook these. 15 minutes for you, 13 minutes, which is gonna prove a pickle, a pickle. Feels like bread smells like mock duck. Serves ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One each. One each. Okay, well that's just not it. Serves so ten. ten. Maybe I guess it's party food, I guess. Whilst these cook, I also found in Sainsbury's, which I can't imagine is exclusively exclusive to Sainsbury's, but it's something that I'm really excited about. Oh, I just want to say prices. <sighs> Maybe I'll edit that in. This, however, I know the price because I spent a silly amount of money on this. This cost me six pounds. <laughs> this. But it does look very cool. <laughs> it is a vegan cheese platter. Now, you can get loads of different vegan cheese platters nowadays, but this is Applewood. Oh, no, wait, it's not. Ilchester. Okay, I don't know. But anyway, this is a festive cheese board. So, obviously, I picked this up and I figured we could have this while we wait for the party food because cheese and crackers. Duh. Now, immediately, the one thing I want to say is I'm aware that this is like a share pack, but look how thin these are. I just paid six pounds for the equivalent of like two normal blocks of cheese. But alas, we move. So, yes, we have Melting Mature. We have the classic, I love this, Applewood Smoky Vegan. That is just staple. This one is terrifying because if you know me, then you know I don't like spice. This is the Mexican, what is it? it super melty and spicy. That's gonna, that's gonna kill me off, but yeah. And then we also have the Vegan Blue, which I put this on my story the other day and someone replied saying they weren't a big fan of the Vegan Blue, so. So it's perfect for cheese boards though. I'm also, I don't. Oh, okay. I don't know if I was ever the biggest fan of blue cheese. I also don't know how long this has been in there for. Hey Siri, set a timer for 12 minutes. I'm on it. Love it when Siri listens to me. Still on it. Siri, babe, would have been easier if I'd just done that. Something went wrong. Oh. Set a timer for 12 minutes. One sec. 
<laughs> Love it when Siri listens to me. Mate, let me just do it myself. Okay, so first things first. Regarding the old crackers, the butter, the potatoes, the, you know, the extras, the things that we don't really, we actually care about, that's a lie. Potatoes are like the best thing of a roast. But you know, regarding the like extras, pretty much got them from whatever shop, so they're not specific to Sainsbury's. Because I have Tesco's crackers. Let's try some Tesco's cheese, some, no, what? Butter. Okay, so what do we, I don't even know. Well, I'll go with the smoked one because I think that's boring because I've already had it before. Delicious. I actually freaking love this cheese, well. Yum. Right, so now we're gonna try the mature one. I think I need, wait, I've got cracker in my mouth. I don't think it tastes like much, I'm not gonna lie. It tastes better with the cracker and the butter, but it's not like, giving me anything. Right, which one am I more scared of here? I don't know. Both the blue and the spicy one are kind of intimidating. I'm gonna go in with the blue. Mmm, that's interesting. I'm just gonna, I think I need to do a palette cleanser. So I'm not the biggest fan of that, but I think it's only because I don't, I don't think I like blue cheese. However, that is what I kind of imagine blue cheese to taste like. I'm not wild over it, you know? Right. Okay, I can feel that. Oh, I can feel that that is spicy. I'm trying to, I'm trying to condition myself to like spice, but it's just like, I just don't enjoy spice. So we're gonna go again. With the cracker and the butter, it's actually not that bad. I must say, wouldn't recommend paying the six pounds. That's my overall verdict. I think the cheeses are too small and I personally only really like one out of three, <laughs> four. But you know what, for the aesthetic and for the purpose and for the like, you know, some people like my blue cheese, some people might like, <laughs> It's a bite smaller than me, so you know what? If it's your thing, it's your thing, but I wouldn't spend six pounds on it, like. <sighs> okay, so 15 minutes is up, but I just realized that I was supposed to like add this to the top before I took it out. So, oh my God, so I'm gonna take out the fish things. All right, and then cook the barbecue things for another two minutes with the glaze, but this is what they look like. Don't look the best, but we move, right, okay. All right, All right so I'm just gonna put the glaze on this then, I guess. <gasps> Jesus. Oh, well, I'll put these back in the oven now. This is what these look like. <laughs> Whilst they're in the oven, I think we should just try these ones. So these are the no fish fingers and chips. But do you know what I mean? Like I have never seen this kind of like arrangement of, they're trying to make it look all fancy. Okay. Well, it smells really weird for starters, but okay. Yeah, it's really hot. So it's very mushy peas heavy, but I, it's not like bad. I'm gonna try some, I'm gonna try this one with ketchup. <laughs> I still don't think it's very fishy. Like if they wanted to create like fish and chips, then it's just mainly chips and mushy peas with like, like a crispy batter, which is not the end of the world to be fair. I'm not mad at that, but. Just an observation. Right, I'm gonna take those out. Do they look good? I don't know. Like this part here at the end, this, this dark part is like kind of soft and that's not. I don't know what like pork belly is supposed to be like and I'm not gonna lie that kind of makes me cringe a little bit that they tried to recreate that but I just don't think about it too much how the f oh wait 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 that crispy bit kind of pops off you know Ooh. it's hot and I was gonna save this one for my flatmate but yeah yeah that was so much better than the fish and chips one. I really can't remember how much they are, but I'll put them on screen, how much they were, and whether or not I think you should buy them, or whether or not I think they're worth all the Jesus, what are you for? I have zero idea what that's for, so that's great. Because I've already taken them out. Anyway. Okay, so for the main, so the veins is gonna be where I've been a little bit more annoying with this whole concept. Basically, it's really hard to find the stuff that they say is like their vegan range. So I managed to find, oh God. So they do a Wellington, Plant Pioneers Vegan Wellington. Now, as you can see, this one has a lattice. The actual one that they've got 2020 is like more like a, like a full, I'll put a picture up on the screen, but I couldn't find that, but I did find this, which is, I guess, the same kind of thing. So I'm gonna be having this, but I'm also an idiot because I got it from the frozen section and I got it yesterday and I put it in my fridge. So that may have a role to play on whether or not this is actually good, but we're gonna cook it. It says cook from frozen, so don't take my example. And then alongside that, I'm also gonna have, so obviously I'm gonna have potatoes, peas, gravy, yeah. But what I wanna have with it, now personally, I don't have this at Christmas, but I saw it a part of their Christmas, like new, 
suggestions or whatever and it is a cauliflower bake which i just think looks so bloody good like are you kidding me so it's cauliflower in a cheddar style coconut based alternative that sounds so bad but to cheese sauce that's what they have to describe it as a cheddar style coconut based alternative to cheese sauce Wow. topped with parsley and paprika crumb so this is going to go in the oven for half an hour so i'm going to do this first i'm not making the potatoes from scratch i bought potatoes i want no one to judge me for this these are from tesco's again i apologize but you know i could have got these from same reason that would have been grand but, and they would have been the same so these also take 30 minutes so i'm going to eat these in the oven at the same time i will report back mm. okay so i'll report back when the main is done. Okay, so they are out the oven. This is what the Lassus Wellington thing looks like. And this is what she looks like. Let's set her up and I'm gonna go sit down and then I will show you. That's actually not that bad to be fair. Lighting's a bit dodgy, but that's fine. So here is the final product. Now it looks a little bit pathetic, I'm not gonna lie, but that's also partly due to the fact that I don't have what one would call like the full roast dinner aesthetic. So usually we'd have like some linders on the side or something like that, but the main purpose of today's video was to focus on the Sainsbury stuff, so at last. However, I must also admit that I wasn't able to find, like they have a vegan trimming section where it has like pigs in blankets and stuffing, which obviously would have made this go from a three to a 300. But yeah, they didn't have them in the store. They only had them online, but also online you have to like order like for like the 20th of December, which is so annoying. Anyway, I'm gonna, I think they look quite nice. I'm gonna pour some gravy over her. Wow, that was a lot. Right, so I'll start with the cauliflower cheese thing. It's quite like, like that kind of consistency. Like, that's disgusting. I wish I didn't do that. <laughs> Roasted potatoes are delicious though. Mm, she might munching the potatoes, but they're okay. <laughs> Anyways, so let's try it. Again. Yeah, Helena, wear cream. One oversized jumper to another. Ooh, okay, anyway. <laughs> let's try the Wellington. The gravy is sploshy, so a bit of a close up. It's quite meaty. I'm not the biggest fan of it though. It kind of tastes a little bit like red wine, which is literally so random and rude, but be like that. I love the pastry. It's quite like, like lacking in texture, but this also all could just be because I didn't freeze it when I was supposed to, so. To be honest, overall, if I received this, I would be underwhelmed. I would be. I've got a little something something for dessert anyway, so let's have that. I'll get me a couple dislikes. So for dessert, I am going to have a mince pie. So on the Sainsbury's vegan menu, you can get like a chocolate pudding style thing. Once again, I couldn't find, however, I did find their mince pies, which are their free from mince pies. So these are free from gluten, egg, milk, and all that jazz. Um, I'm not gonna lie, you can get a lot of like accidentally vegan mince pies from like Co-op, I believe, Spa, I believe. There's a few other brands off the top of my head I can't think. So you don't always necessarily need to get the free from versions of, of mince pies, but same free the normal ones weren't vegan and these ones were. I love mince pies. I know not a lot of people do. I'm not gonna heat it up. Maybe a sin. Oh. Way too orangey. Way too orangey. Are you kidding me? Oh no. Why is that just like all orange? Let's try the pastry. I feel a bit bad because I think it's just because gluten-free. Respect to anyone that is gluten-free or has to be gluten-free, but this just doesn't taste as nice. Don't worry. The mince meat's not good. No. I feel like it takes a lot for me to say that I don't like a mince pie. But I'd be sad about like mince pies. Need some water, fuck now. Overall, slightly underwhelming. I'm hoping that the rest of the supermarkets will pull it out of the bag. Partly probably because I couldn't find half of the stuff. But that's also not my fault. Let, let's think realistically. I went to like the biggest Sainsbury's I could possibly go to. And they didn't have the plant range. And also I think it's a bit cheeky to make people like not get it. And only get it on like the 23rd of de December or something. Because then like if I got that kind of stuff like for 23rd of December. I'd be like it was a bit rude. Because now I don't have any chance to like change my mind. Anyway. Anyway an underwhelming out of 10 overall. But those crispy pork thingies delicious wellington thing nah. what was that made out of that's what i want to know red wine i knew it had red wine in it i knew it had red wine in it it tastes so much like red wine it's made from soy mushrooms and red wine and i knew it but yeah hopefully the other supermarkets are gonna are gonna smash it i just had something else to say and i can't remember what it was I cannot remember what that was <laughs> Oh yeah. I'll try and see if I can tally up how much that cost overall. I may not be able to do that. Future Helen will be annoyed at me for saying that, but I'm gonna see if I can try and tally up how much that cost as well to see what 
we're saying as well and if it was worth the price it's a huge factor as well because i'm going to be doing these from like a range of shops so sainsbury's i would say is like upper to middle range of like shops that i want to use so i'm thinking of like aldi morrison's sainsbury's tesco's and waitrose so waitrose and m s like probably very pricey places and sainsbury's and tesco's are like next to that and then you've got morrison's then you've got aldi in terms of price range so i think that's important to to bear in mind really because these things were quite expensive really particularly the cheese but i also don't think that that's just exclusively to sainsbury's but yeah anyway let me know if you want me to do any more of what well, i'm going to but let me know if you like these videos by giving it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section because if you just think this is dead content then maybe i won't do it yeah, I will. Mm -hmm. All right, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to you. In the next one. <laughs>